The final trading day of the week could be a biggie with that jobs report coming out. Let's bring in Joe TK. Joe, what are you watching in the market? Yeah, the jobs report is critical. It's going to be the, the difference between a 50 basis point cut and a 25 basis point cut. And the market's really uh, not sure about which way it's going to go. Uh, we saw the AI or the tech bubble back then continue to grow. So that's the two things we have right now. We have the AI bubble potentially expanding to a new uh, a new phase, or we have the economy slowing and we might see uh, the market react that way. You mentioned AI and all eyes are on that Apple 16 iPhone launch Monday. How critical is that to the market? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that launch. I'm hopeful that Tim Cook can have his uh, his uh, Steve Jobs, wait, just one more thing moment and everyone get really excited about this new phone. And I think the market needs this for the next wave of AI because the first phase of the AI has kind of happened. People have been buying NVIDIA chips, building out their infrastructure, paying for the hardware. What we haven't seen yet, Angie, is, com is consumers stepping forward and saying, oh, this is really cool, uh, but I also want to pay for these features. So we haven't really seen that in any meaningful way. Companies profiting off of the AI. Uh, Apple's going to be a first big test. What do they have that people want to pay for? Are people going to line up and pay for it? Remember, I can remember Apple iPhone, people being so excited for them. They're waiting you know, days and weeks ahead of time uh, to be the first in line at the Apple store uh, to get their new phone. Is that going to be something we're going to be seeing with this new AI launch? I'm excited for it. I'll wait and see what happens. Great info. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for having me. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.